Howdy, and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today is going to be an epic video. I got my girlfriend a Tesla. It's right over here. You can see it is the uh, Model X, and uh, it's pretty cool. So the back doors go up and all that stuff. Oh, you don't see it yet? Yeah, so anyway, this is the uh, Model X. Very cool. I went for the huge rim option they have. I think they're like 32s, and the full like panoramic uh, glass roof. Very neat car, I think she's gonna love it. See, I could have been the typical car YouTuber. I could have made a whole video about that. Maybe the mic a couple of years ago, I might have done that, but not. it's not for me anymore. I can't do it. It's a prank. So the vlog today is going to be all about the beep. Uh, we're taking her out. I don't think I've really driven it on camera since the wrap, uh, except for when I first uh, took delivery. But we're gonna take the Jeep and we're gonna check out another Jeep and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm very excited. I'm all about the Jeeps now. I love them. And I definitely wouldn't mind adding another one to the collection. First time in a while, manual Jeep. I just, I love that. And that's why I bought it. So I'm glad that I do like it. Right, and we are here. Now I could have gone a, a while ago and looked at one of these. They have been out for now a few months, but I was waiting for one at a dealership I know. So I could definitely, where I know the manager and I could definitely like get a look at it and not be really bothered. Um, but these new Jeeps do look pretty cool. I really like the new look. And I mean, like overall, it doesn't look a whole lot different from what I'm driving, but when you really like pay attention to the little details, you notice everything they did. And that Gladiator is sweet. It's like, it's everything I ever really wanted in a vehicle or like really anything you could want. It's a Jeep and a truck. And that's pretty much like the two big things for a daily driver. You got your truck for all your practicality needs, and then you have a Jeep for like fun and off-roading, and it's got a cool factor to it. And this is actually the first one that I have seen in person, and it's pretty cool. It's definitely pretty cool. They look a little, fun. honestly, like in pictures, they look a little funky, and I don't think, this is a this is a regular one. I don't think it's a, it's definitely not a Rubicon, because the Rubicon, I think is a little higher and has bigger uh, tires on it. But in pictures, they look like a little funky, but in person, it actually looks a little bit better. Like it looks more proportionately correct. In pictures, I always felt like it looked a little too long, but yeah, it's sweet. What do we got? Little Wrangler, no Jeep badge, a little different than the old JK. Regular fenders, the new little like side vent thing that the old ones don't have there. Trail rated. Is it open? Nope, locked. Automatic. Looks pretty nice, looks pretty nice. Let's see if we can go check it out. All right, we got them, we got the keys. Pretty easy, they were actually <laughs> sitting out on a table and the guys in there were like yeah just take it so we're in the jeep gladiator here we go we got wow this is very uh very different very different from the jk very new very updated the key itself by the way actually we can compare let me get my uh my key out here and see a big difference so here is the old key and those went up to 2017 so it's not like that's a really old vehicle i mean they were this is you know not that old and the new key is extremely different. Very cool. I really like the new key. Automatic start. I mean, that one wouldn't have it anyway because it's a manual. And maybe like, um, you know, maybe an upgraded like Rubicon with all the options. Maybe they did come with a different key. But this one's cool. Still not like auto stop start though, which is, or maybe it is. I don't know. It's got the button. Okay, so it does do that, but it still has a key. Interesting. That is, that is a weird one. It still has the flip out key, but it is auto stop start. God, I got things blown at me already off. Okay. Wow. That dash is sweet. <laughs> it's really, really cool. I like that. I really like it. It looks super, super modern. Wow. That is cool. What do we got up here? Climate apps controls 
One thing Dodge does really well uh, is their infotainment centers. The Uconnect systems are really good. The touch response is always really great. Like Ford and Chevrolet, once in a while you'll have one where you like you hit the button and it doesn't really work or you know it kind of like ignores you or it presses the wrong thing. The Dodge, I never had a problem with any of those. That's cool. We've got apps, backup camera. Oh, cool, look at that. Backup camera on there. Very nice, heated steering wheel, heated seats, compass. Okay, fair enough. Got some cool off-roading stuff maybe. Media, radio. I got the backup cam. Hmm. God, I could spend hours in here. Does it have a power outlet? No, it's got USB ports though. And an aux port. Window controls still in the middle, I know now. Now I know, after having a Jeep, what these buttons do. That was the funniest thing when I first got in that. I was like trying desperately to figure out where the hell the window controls were. Now I know. Auto stop start off, traction control off, parking sensors. Uh, looks like hill descent control there. Screen off. Touch to turn on. Very neat. I like that. Like I said, the heated seats. So you can control the heated seats with a button up here or down here with the actual physical button. That's kind of cool. Same with the uh, steering wheel. AC controls on the right. Got a little 12 volt source there. Lots of controls on the steering wheel. How do you navigate this menu? Over here on the left, press OK to enter. Screen startup, no media. Stop, start, not ready, whatever that means. Gas mileage, 16 miles per gallon over the 31 miles, I believe, is the average. But it's really cool. Everything's digital. This looks really, really new. Analog gauges for speed and tack, but everything else is digital, which is really neat. I love it. Four-wheel drive control over here and too high now. That is sweet, wow. This is really cool. So if you go into the off-road uh, setting in your little screen here in front of you when you're driving, and you go into let's say four high, you shift down here into four high, it shows you, and it shows you with a little graphic and a lock symbol uh, when you're shifting into four-wheel drive. I think that's really neat, love that. And then if you go over and into neutral, should be right there, yep. Four-wheel drive, neutral warning, vehicle may move even in park. That's pretty cool. And four low, down one more, all the way down. And four low, auto park disabled, traction comes off, electronic stability control comes off. Scrolling through the little menu here, you can see that it does show you a little picture of a Jeep Gladiator when you go through the uh, options. And I think it's on the, uh, the tire pressure monitoring system. That is really cool, cool little touch. Now they could have made that a Jeep or just a little like generic square looking thing with wheels on it, but they made it an actual Gladiator and it's white too. I wonder if it shows you your actual color Jeep. I doubt it. And that one has the little um, like vents on it for the Rubicon model I believe has those vents, but that is very neat. I like that a lot. It looks very similar on uh, the roof, how you take that off. So the roof on a Gladiator is fully removable, I believe. I think you can take the whole thing off. It looks the same as the old JK. These panels definitely come off. Kind of a cool little like pattern on them as well. It's like a, it's almost like a, like a flake you would see on a garage floor. Kind of what it looks like. Sorry for the audio. Let me put the uh, windows back up. Still got the speaker bar here in the middle with lighting on it. There we go. Lighting back here. Cool. You can see the uh, little screws there. That's the cool thing about Jeep. They kept everything pretty similar, I think, and very simple. Like the Jeep roof is so easy to take off and put back on. You can do it yourself, as I've demonstrated a few times. Um, everything is really, like Jeeps are just very, very simple and easy and fun, and I really like that. And it's cool the Gladiator has it too, because it offers you, kind of like I said, sitting over there, like it offers you a pickup truck, but with so much other stuff and like so many fun features and things you can't do with any other pickup truck. So we got a Jeep Gladiator Overland 4x4, 
base price of 40K. That is up there. I mean, that is expensive for a base model Jeep. John Turner. You get the, wow, you get a Dana 44 front and rear. That's pretty, that is very solid. I like that. I'm not sure the Overland, I feel like the Overland is under the Rubicon, but you get the good axles. That's for sure. 373 axle ratio, all that stuff, skid plate blah 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 the customer preferred package the trailer tow package you get that we got the cold weather group which includes all the heated stuff the remote start not available with manual trans i wonder why safe group 995 and that gives you the parking sensors and the blind spot monitoring pretty cool the roll-up tonneau cover and the all-weather slush mats and then the automatic trans is a $2,000 option. Blocking rear diff, I guess, is an option as well. And then the Black Freedom Top three-piece hard top is an option. And you get the rear sliding window and the rear window defroster and the Freedom Panel storage bag. And I guess that's all part of that. So total price, 48,580 bucks. 48 grand, about 50 grand, 50 Gs for a Jeep pickup truck, which is a lot. I mean, you get a lot for the money though. So I don't know, let me know in the comments. Do you think it's worth it for 50 grand? I can tell you this, people pay it because the Gladiator is hot right now. People love the Gladiator. People are paying over for Gladiators. So um, I guess the market has spoken. <laughs> it is worth it regardless of what I think, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's a lot of truck though. You get a lot, it's a lot of practicality and a lot of vehicle for that and a lot of fun for that. It just, it is expensive though for a, like a Jeep. I just feel like a Jeep, you don't, like you look at everything, it's not like, it's very utilitarian. It's not like luxurious in any way, but you can do a lot with these vehicles. So I understand why they can get pricey. Let's see if we can get a plate on it and go for a drive. All right, and we are off. And I got to tell you, as far as like resolution is concerned, this might have one of the best backup cameras I've ever seen. I don't know if I can do it while the vehicle's moving. Probably not. Where is it at? No, it's not in settings. Oh, language. I don't know. I forget where it's at. Apps. It's in apps. Backup cam. There it is. Look, you can do it. That is so, that's about as clear as my GoPro is. I mean, it's so, I didn't even really notice it at the dealership, but that is so nice. And you can have it on while you're driving for a little bit, for a little bit, but it is really really smooth and very nice i mean this honestly it might not look like it on the outside but this is like night and day between uh driving this and driving the old jk i mean this is real like very smooth and very nice and it feels uh, a little bit more like solid it feels more well built like you can't really hear the road noise nearly as much it's a really nice like well put together vehicle I'm actually, uh, <laughs> I had like zero intention of getting one, even though a lot of you guys have been asking for one, everyone. I see so many comments on Jeep videos and even on other videos of people saying, Mike, get the Gladiator. You gotta get the Gladiator. This is a really, really good, good truck. And this one has the new uh, 3.6 V6. And I don't know exactly how much power it has, but it feels a lot quicker than mine. And I know the new one, any any Jeep with the new 3.6 is definitely a lot quicker, but like it, it can really, and that's not even close to being floored. That's a, that's a pretty quick vehicle. And I know these aren't that light. They're not as light as they look, but it feels very light driving. And that's kind of hard to do. So credit to Jeep to make it feel like a really, sprightly little vehicle it's kind of like you know the one thing I, I don't like about jeeps is the fact that you know it's not a truck and it doesn't have that extra level of practicality but like i said a few times the gladiator does you know when i need a truck which is actually believe it or not pretty often like i'm always hauling crap either i'm helping somebody move or i'm doing wheels and tire stuff with all the videos i make so i use a truck a lot but the Gladiator would be enough for me. And you know, it would be enough, it would be enough space. I could tow with it if I needed to, although I got the, the big truck, the Duramax for towing. This thing is really nice, really nice. Like I said, the Gladiator is hot right now. It's hot, people love it. And I can see why. You know, people have been asking Jeep to make a pickup truck version of the Wrangler for a long time. And companies were doing, like aftermarket companies were doing it. And it was actually like pretty common. Um, so now that Jeep is doing it, like they're, they're genius for that. Like they were missing out on a lot of sales and I feel like 
they're definitely gonna have a lot, well, they are having a lot with this. If they can get someone like me, who's a diehard truck guy, to really consider it, and like, I, I feel like it'd be perfect for me, that, that shows you a lot. And this here has to be one of the smoothest, most effortless shifters I've ever, it just, it's so nice. I mean, it's a little like plasticky, but not that I expect anything. It shouldn't be any different. It's meant to be rugged and durable. So I'm not complaining. But what I mean by the smoothness is the way it like, the way it feels when you shift it. Just really, really neat and refined. Right, and uh, sorry, we're going to Whitmore now uh, to drop off the Jeep, but sorry, like it, it took so long, but I just kept finding things that I wanted to talk about with the Gladiator. And I really, I spent a lot more time there than I thought I was gonna spend. I thought I was just gonna kind of like roll up and you know say like hey here's a gladiator and like you know i'm looking at it it's pretty cool but i ended up doing like a half of a review on it but i liked it let me know what you guys think in the comments victor's over there on mo patrol but yeah let me know in the comments below if you think maybe i should get a gladiator if you aren't tired of the off-roading content yet we're back at whitmoyer i've been like running around all over the place i feel like i've said that so many times recently but it's because I'm always like doing stuff. I mean, I'm always out and about nowadays. Always got stuff to do, vehicles to drop off, and whatever else the YouTube life wants, but, uh, or forces me to do, I don't know. Anyway, we're back, and uh, Beaver and I have been working on something really, really big. Uh, a new car for me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, check it out, uh, at streetspeed717, but I put up a post uh, this morning about getting a new car actually two new vehicles and the one is like big like you guys are gonna i think freak out i think you're gonna freak out so i'll give you some little hints and it should be arriving at some point next week and uh, i'll give you some hints it's a uh a v8 it is a v8 um and what else can i say that doesn't give it away um it's not for sale here at whitmore so that's kind of a clue here it is my new car just kidding but a ZR1 would be cool, would definitely be cool. I like the spec on this. It's manual, comp seats, Alcantara insert on the seats and the shifter and the wheel. Chrome wheels with the silver caliper. Definitely unique. ZTK, big wing. That is a pretty sweet car. I didn't even know they had one in the showroom actually. Totally forgot, but I saw it on Instagram earlier. And uh, you know, I think this one is sold. Sold, right? Yeah, aren't you taking home today? 